I love to use Edger dies on my cards, and we all know that dies can be expensive to buy, especially if you're as die cut crazy as I am. In this video, I share six different ways to create cards with Edger dies from Creative Expressions and Crafters Companion. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and I recently had fun designing a bunch of cards with new Edger dies I purchased, as well as the beautiful Blushing Rose papers from Divinity D Designs. So this is the uh, collection of papers that I used on all of the cards, Blushing Rose from Divinity Designs, and here are the dies that I used. So this first one, um, I'm using the Bumblebee Edger die by Kathy Shuttleworth at Creative Expressions. So um, I'll show you each of the cards individually. I also have three new um, Edger dies from Gemini Crafters Companion Edgeables. This one is the Butterfly Breeze. This one is the Cascading Circles. And this one is the Hello. Um, edgeable die. And then um, the last one I'm going to show is the Creative Expressions Feather Edger, again by Kathy Shuttleworth. So um, those are the dies that I'm using on the cards that I'm going to share. Um, Edger dies can be used many different ways on our cards. The positive and negative spaces on the Bumblebee Edger die um, shows up beautifully simply by cutting it. Um, you can see the, the edge. Um, we have positive and, and negative images here. And then putting it over a bright pink card base. So all the details on all the cards that I'm going to show you um, will be on my blog and links will be in the description box. This is the Bumblebee Edger. I cut the Bumblebee again in black. Um, and um, layered it over a pretty bright pink um, card base. This Feather Edger, um, also by Kathy Shuttleworth of Creative Expressions, is gorgeous die cut on the top of designer paper and layered onto a brown card base. Here's another way to use Edger dies. Just let them hang off the edge of the con of the card front over a contrasting card base color. So I have a hello die here with those that beautiful butterfly edger and then um, put a piece of paper in the inside to um, write my message. Or you can cut the edger die right down the middle of a piece of uh, pretty designer paper um, and then put the bottom piece back on. So here's the top piece and then I just added the bottom piece back on. So we have our pattern down the middle again with the positives and negatives uh, over the dark brown card base. Um, and then you can also use it on the inside of your card. So I just love the look of that and then I would write my message down here. Or how about repeating the edge or die pattern on a card front? Um, on the bottom, on the card base itself, I die cut it out of the dark brown and then I also die cut it out of the pattern paper, again from that same uh, batch from Divinity Designs. Um, and This is the Hello one, so um, we have that pretty um, contrasting color and of course you can even use it on the inside of the card. Here's the card that I'm going to make in the video. This fun fold is called Twisted Easel. So, um, let's see how you can see it. It lays flat to male, and it has that gorgeous feather die there. And then um, when, you, when the recipient gets it, they can stand it up for display. And that's called Twisted Easel. And I thought it was a gorgeous way to show off that feather edge or die from Creative Expressions. Um, and I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, we're going to start with a 5x10 card base scored at 5x5 five five to make a square card. Now this two-sided cardstock is from Coordination and it has dark brown on one side and this pretty bright color on the other side. Um, we are going to score 
from the upper left. Let's see. Yes, upper left to the bottom. Um, and when I do this, um, I mark a line on my scoreboard with magic with uh, magic marker with something a permanent marker, so that I know where the top and the bottom is going to for sure line up. Now this cardstock sometimes likes to crack, so um, one way to prevent that is to fold it um, the opposite way that you want that you you know the opposite of the way that you want it to fold, and then go back and fold it that way. And um, most of the time, that will prevent cracking on cardstock that likes to crack. So um, there is our. Um, folded easel part. Now I have a piece of um, designer paper from that same pack. I decided to go with a little more brighter um, one um, for this card and I have cut this piece five and a half square. And I took a pencil and I drew a line from the upper right to the bottom left. Um, and that is what I'm going to line up this die on. So um, I have marked on here in permanent marker um, where this line is that is the difference between the, the top part and the bottom part. So you can see on that there is um, a part, a half of it that cuts out the, the negative um, image there and then half of it um, is the edge, if that makes sense. So I have um, marked on here, um, the T is for that's the top of the die. So I don't want to do it this way, I want to do it this way. And then I'm lining this up um, along that pencil line that I drew. And put it, uh, taping it with some temporary tape and I'm going to run it through my Vagabond. So um, this is the top part and um, I'm going to trim off that in a diagonal. I had to do a lot of experimenting to get this to um, work easily for me to make the um, twisted easel card so I thought I would share the tips with you that I did. So um, make sure we have all those pieces out. Now this piece to fit properly on that um, front of the, the card, the twisted easel, needs to be four and five eighths um, square. And I, I had a difficult time just trying to cut that um, with, uh, without using a template because it, it just seems that um, it didn't want to um, work. So what I ended up doing was I am lining um, this piece up with a template that I that I have cut and it is the the correct size and then I just mark on the back with a pencil and then I'm going to cut this down to the correct size Make 
sure that's straight. So now this should fit on this part. with that line up against the diagonal line. So I'm going to attach that and then I'm going to erase the um, line that I drew. to be um, along that diagonal and then I'm going to erase the diagonal line that I drew. So our twisted easel top is ready to go. Um, when you do an easel card, uh, regular or twisted, um, you need to have something on the bottom part that's popped up and that will hold the um, easel up when it's displayed. And um, I have die cut Hello, um, which is a Tonic Studios die, and placed it on um, the contrasting color um, cut out with a Gina Marie Designs oval. And I'm going to place that here, and then the easel um, will be held up with that, but then can lay flat to uh, mail. I am having great fun um, and loving the um, new colors of the Nouveau um, Aqua Shimmer Pens. Um, this one is called Blush Rosette. And um, you can see that these feathers that I cut out um, from Spellbinders are pretty the way they are. But if you add some of this pretty um, shimmery, aqua shimmer color to it, um, it ends up being even prettier. Um, I have done these in advance, but I'll show you um, the difference. Um, I, if you do, if you just start uh, directly to the paper, um, sometimes you get a big blob. So what I do is I start it on something and then pick it up from there and that way I'm not um, getting a big blob on whatever it is that I'm trying to color. It just takes a little while to dry, but I did prepare the ones um, in advance that I'm going to use. But you can see that that um, pretty color is even more uh, beautiful with that shimmer on there. And I'm going to add a couple of these feathers to the card. And then the final touch will be to add some 
pretty gems. I'm using my favorites from Gina Marie Designs and I like that they have three different sizes and you can choose whatever size you want to use. I thought it would be nice to um, accent the feather that's sticking up with some of these. and then accent some of the, um, let's see, I had flowers on this one. So maybe just one here. You always do it in sets of three. So our hello card with a twisted easel that lays flat to male and then stands up with that beautiful feather sticking up and pretty designer paper hello and another feather is complete. I had fun designing these six cards with beautiful edger dies and hope my cards have inspired you to give them a try. Thanks for watching, sharing and subscribing and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.